am Trace Campanini, the Deputy Secretary for the Office of Child Development and Early Learning, or OCDEL as many of you know us by. Over the past two years, I have had the opportunity to send you video updates as we navigate events that have had monumental and historical significance. I'm talking about the COVID-19 pandemic. Through this time, childcare and other early learning providers have been responsive to supporting children, their families, their own staff, and their own family needs while figuring out how to maintain business operations and keep everyone safe. More and more, with increased availability and participation in COVID-19 vaccinations, it seems as if things are returning to normal. I want to acknowledge that after two years of coping with the pandemic, life in the early childhood education profession is nowhere near a normal state of operation. Octel sees and hears the early childhood professionals who are learning to cope with their personal trauma from this global event while also supporting children and families across the Commonwealth. We know that children are coming to early childhood settings with unique challenges and needs. As Octel works to develop and implement strategies to support children, we also recognize that caring committed adults deserve our support as well. It is with this in mind that Octel has invested in a tool to support Pennsylvania's early childhood professionals. Did you know that well-being can be learned and strengthened? Scientific research suggests that caring relationships, attention and self-regulation, and meaning and purpose of life can all be strengthened through training. We are excited to announce that all Pennsylvania early childhood professionals will have two years of free access to an app called the Healthy Minds at Work. Information regarding this will be included in a special announcement released to early childhood providers later. Your Early Learning Resource Center colleagues have been using the Healthy Mind apps as well and are ready to support you in communities of practice across your region. Coming together with other professionals in the field to support one another's well-being can be a powerful moment. We recognize that this is just one of the many tools and resources in a well-being journey for you, your staff, and children in your care. April is month of the young child. It is a time when we focus our public attention on the needs of young children, their families, and we recognize the early childhood programs and services that meet those needs. We sincerely hope that you will take advantage of the opportunity to invest in yourselves and your team. Thank you for your commitment to children, families, and your staff.